Calgary is a fishing paradise. Calgary frequently gets a shadow cast over its fishing by the legendary lakes in BC and the prairies. What does Calgary have that other provinces don't hold a candle to? Fly fishing. When it comes to the coveted art of fly fishing for big, beautiful trout, the Calgary area is paradise. Typically fly fishing is associated with Montana and the UK, where it originated, or some sweet leather hat that your grandpa made soup in. All of which are fair connections. Hat soup is delicious. Unlike other places, the Calgary area has less fly fishers, and thus less pressure on our rivers. With less people on our rivers awe-inspiring views, and truly forgotten places, our fly fishing can be pretty spectacular. Located on the east slope of the Canadian Rockies, Calgary has become, in many ways, the Missoula, Montana, of the north. Not familiar with Missoula? Well, Brad Pitt did a movie called, A River Runs Through It There. That movie really popularized fly fishing, especially in Montana. From personal experience, Missoula's fly fishing is good, but Calgary's fly fishing is spectacular. Let me walk you through it, from the perspective of a fly fishing guide, trout fanatic, and openly biased Calgarian. The Bow River is renowned as one of the best freshwater trout rivers on the planet. Not to mention it flows through Calgary, which is full of awesome people. Yes, I am talking about you, you beauty. You have not caught anything in the Bow yet. You are not alone. In the fly, the fly fishing community, we say 95% of the fish are caught by 5% of the fishermen, which doesn't really feel like an exaggeration. There is an art to a river that is worth hiring a guide to learn. Within a few hours drive of Calgary, you can find seemingly endless crystal clear rivers. We have some legendary two-syllable river names like the Old Man, Krausnest, Red Deer, Highwood, and Sheep, sorry, ran out of two-syllable rivers. I don't really want to talk up the rivers much more, because fly fishing is hard, and you might get skunked if you are new. In fishing terms, getting skunked means you caught zero fish. This is possible, even on a great river. Fair warning, getting sprayed by a skunk is also called, getting skunked, and may subject you to ridicule from your buds as well. If you are not from Canada, this will be a major perk. For us Canadians, we tend to take this for granted, or we are totally unaware of how awesome this is. More or less, we can practically fish anywhere. Of course you cannot trespass on property, but if you are on the river, you are usually okay. Want to keep this amazing perk? Please pick up any garbage you find on the river, and keep ATVs away from the riverbank. Free camping. Yep. Free. Another reason why pluses, above, are amazing. As long as you are cleaning up after yourself, and not poking the wildlife, you are generally in the clear. Check out more info on recreation on public land before you go. If camping isn't your thing, there are plenty of great hotels in Calgary to check out. The rivers are all pretty close to the city. Night fishing. This is practically unheard of outside of the fly fishing community. The Bow River has massive stonefly hatches at night during certain periods of the year. For some fishermen slash fisher ladies, this triggers a yearly pilgrimage to the Bow. Please be careful, casting shark hooks at night can be dangerous. You may accidentally pierce your ear for free. Fair warning. Bull trout are Alberta's official fish, and they are a true trophy fish. These fish are big, beautiful, and act like sharks. Since it is illegal to keep any, they can get massive. A fishing trip to the rivers around Calgary is not complete without landing one of these. Native to Alberta and very willing to eat pretty much anything, these fish are fun. I liken the behavior of a cutthroat trout to my own behavior at TT Vietnamese subs in Calgary. Both the cutthroat trout and I will pretty much eat anything on the menu. Fly fishing culture is notoriously secretive. In Calgary, however, it is common that guides fish together, technically, they are competitors, and seasoned fly fishers will regularly take a newbie under their wing for a day. There is a huge community of inclusive, positive fly fishers emerging. When it comes to diversity of fish and rivers, the Calgary area has everything imaginable for hardcore or beginner fly fishers. We have steep glacial streams, winding spring creeks, big prairie rivers, deep canyon tributaries, lakes, and huge tailwaters. These waterways are full of practically every type of trout pursued by anglers. If you are just getting into fly fishing, visit some small streams for countless hungry brook trout. If you are a fly fishing Jedi, go prove yourself among the massive finicky brown trout that stock our spring creeks. Feel like an adventure. Try catching one of each type of trout species in a single day, rainbow, brown, bull, cutthroat, brook. 
This may seem a bit odd for some folks, but catch and release fishing is a good thing. My own family does not understand the point of fishing without eating tasty fish. Simply put, if every fish caught was kept, we would have no fish in the bow within a few years, really. Catch and release is practiced by every professional guide and outfitter in Alberta. These 10 reasons are just a few of the many qualities that make Calgary a fisherman's paradise. Now go catch some fish.